Guardians, welcome back. And today I want to show you my Ark Hunter build. And contrary to popular belief, a lot of Guardians like to use the Liar's Handshake for the Ark Hunter builds, but I have something a little different that I like to show off, and it is going to be a very interesting exotic. First, let's get right into the build. We are using the Gathering Storm Super, which is new this season for Destiny. Uh, you hurl your arc staff and you embed it to the ground and it starts jolting nearby targets. Very, very effective. Like running Gambler's Dodge, Triple Jump, and Combination Blow. Uh, combination Blow is nice to use. Uh, defeating your targets with the ability also fully refills your class energy and restores some of your health. And I like to run the skip grenade. The skip grenades are very nice in this build because they will hone in on it, any particular target you throw at and will dish out the damage very nicely. Aspects we're running are Tempest Strike, which gives us two fragment slots. And while sliding, it activates your charge melee ability that unleashes a devastating uppercut that travels across the ground. Flow State, which gives you another two fragment slots. They Defeating a jolted target makes you amplified, and while you're amplified, your movement speed, your weapon handling are greatly increased, and for after sprinting, you increase your sprint speed. Fragments I'm running in this build is Spark of Discharge, which if you get arc weapon final blows, it creates an ionic trace, which ionic traces will hone to you, and they will charge your abilities. Next is Spark of Shock, and your arc grenades jolt your targets. I like to run Spark of Volts, Finishers make you Amplified, and then Spark of Beacons. While you're Amplified, your Arc Special Weapon Final Blows create a blinding explosion. Comes in very handy against trash mobs, and when you're overwhelmed, just hit them with your Arc Final Blows. Do that explosion, they're blinded, gives you a chance to retreat or go in for the kill. So weapons I like to run with this are going to be the Reckless Endangerment Shotgun which I like to run mine with Perpetual Motion, Swashbuckler. This gives me increased, increased damage from my melee kills and kills from this weapon. Vanguard Vindication, final blows from this weapon grant a small amount of my health. And the workhorse of this build is the exotic Trinity Ghoul Bow. This thing is amazing in ad clearing with Arc 3.0. With this particular trait of lightning rod, precision kills grant the next shot chain lightning capabilities. But what really pulls this bow together is if you get the catalyst, guys, you want to get this catalyst done and finish for Trinity Ghoul. This makes this bow just stand above all other exotics for me, for my hunter. Because what this does is lightning rods now trigger from any arc damage final blow. So once you get that final blow, Trinity Ghoul will activate Lightning Rod. Just go ahead and either shoot the target head on for that chain lightning, or you can even shoot the ground and it will chain off the ground into your enemies. Very handy in ad clearing and even bottlenecking and locking down areas that you need. Next is my heavy uh, Taipan 4 FR, which is a linear fusion rifle very nice to have this fusion rifle guys this thing is craftable and very easy to obtain I'm currently working on getting my level up because the traits I want to put on mine are going to be firing line and triple tap get those enhanced version on this and this will do even more damage than a storm chaser in boss DPS I'm telling you guys if you haven't got the storm chaser Taipan is your second best bet if not the best linear fusion rifle in the game right now Move over to the armor pieces in my helmet. I like to run hands-on and linear fusion rifle ammo finder. And melee wellmaker. Melee wellmaker helps especially in this build with that combination blow. When you get that final melee punch and it kills your targets, you generate that arc as well. Because since we're running arc subclass, matches our subclass, we get that arc well. And now, the exotic armor piece I love running with this particular build is Shinobu's Vow. Now what Shinobu's Vow does is new tricks is its armor perk and improves your skip grenades and it gives you an additional grenade charge. Skip grenades also will return some of your energy when it damages the enemy. So not only do you have 
two grenade charges. You have an arc grenade that does devastatingly good damage, but also doing that damage returns your grenade energy. So we are spamming grenade abilities, guys. This is a grenade spamming build. And then for the chest armor, I like running Explosive Wellmaker. Rapidly defeating combatants with explosive damage spawns that solar elemental well. So we're generating solar and arc elemental wells. With this, when you throw that skip grenade and it takes out your enemies, you are going to spawn that solar grenade because that grenade damage counts as explosive damage. So by doing this, we are activating both arc and solar wells. And in our fragment slots, if you remember, we're generating those ionic traces. We are generating our abilities back so fast. It's not funny. It's excellent in just spamming those abilities. I, if you guys know, I love ability spam builds. It is my thing, and I know you guys love to spam them too. Next in the leg armors, I like to run Bountiful Wells. Of course, we all know with Bountiful Wells, when you cause those elemental wells to spawn, you spawn more of those wells. So in my gameplay I'm about to show you here, I spawn these wells, I'm spawning four to six wells. This makes it so much easier to get those abilities back. Class item, running double bomber, and I have another bountiful wells. This actually helps me in, like I said, making those wells, get those abilities back. We love doing this, guys. So that is my ARC 3.0 Hunter build. I hope you guys stick around to watch some gameplay footage I have in store for you, and give this build a try. Also, down in the comments section, tell me what you like most about ARC 3.0, or if you even like ARC 3.0 at all. I know some of my characters, I rather run them in Solar or Void rather than ARC, but I'd like to hear what you guys have. Or even let me know what ideas you have that can make this build even better. I love hearing from you guys, I love getting the feedback, and as always, Guardians, stay safe.